Hello everybody, my name is Dario Sabella, I'm with Intel and I'm also the, the chairman of uh, Etsymac. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the path to global rollout of edge computing through Etsy standardization of Mac Federation. I'm so happy to be at this event, I hope you enjoy my presentation. And what you can expect from this talk. Essentially, this presentation will cover key standardization activities in Etsy Mac, multi-access edge computing, with a special focus on edge cloud federation. And we will give an overview of the Mac reference architecture with uh, some description of ongoing activities, uh, especially on the federation topic, as I mentioned before, and additionally an overview of the Etsy Mac developer outreach activities. We have a lot of activities, very heterogeneous, for the reach out of edge application developers. So, what is a Etsy Mac? Essentially, we are enabling the edge through standardization. Etsy ISG Mac is a, an ISG, a, industry specification group within Etsy, the International Standard Body, and the MEC, M-E-C acronym, stands for Multi-Access Edge Computing. Essentially, it's a cloud computing at the edge of the network. And now let me show you also a nice video that we produced with Etsy to explain essentially the concept of the MEC. For some time now, against the tide of centralized cloud computing, one idea keeps coming back. What if we could save data from having to travel thousands of kilometers when it is destined to come back to the same place? This is the idea behind multi-access edge computing. We call it MEC. MEC is like small local clouds physically installed as close as possible to the users at a mobile base station, for instance. The content from here is used here and stored here. This sounds obvious. However, it is this geographical proximity that makes it possible to imagine vehicles that transmit information to each other at the speed of light. Or factories lowering their costs by processing their confidential data on site or even gamers who can enjoy exceptional speed and great quality of play. Oh, <laughs> of course, some might say, hey, but all this we already did before. Yes, but never so rapidly and securely. Ah, yes, indeed. Obviously, MEC technologies need to be standardized and therefore made fully interoperable. Hey! This is why, at Etsy, we have been working on standardizing this technology since its inception. All the players who are involved in MEC technology, closely or remotely, participate in the work done by Etsy on an equal footing. So, if you want to be where MEC brings edge computing into reality, join us. <laughs> So, um, what we do essentially is to produce standards which are aligned with the other um, standardization bodies and because Mac is actually uh, based on virtualization of the infrastructure and then uh, uh, based on the uh, framework defined by Etsy NFV, for example, and we are going to develop uh, uh, APIs um, uh, for attracting Mac application development community so that they can use these uh, APIs uh, in their applications. And uh, we are also publishing uh, not only specifications and standards, but also a wide set of uh, white papers clarifying uh, special purpose uh, solutions uh, and the variants of deployment options uh, and various topics covering uh, uh, many aspects of the, the MAC standardization. Uh, it's a huge group. 
and we are uh, seeing a, a, a continuously growing membership. Now we are uh, at the number of 119 uh, among uh, operators, technology vendors, IT players, application developers. And let me also say that we have also recently established a new and enriched uh, Mac leadership and support team. So you can look at this uh, uh, nice uh, web page, uh, uh, all the Mac leaders of this group. And what is the approach? We have basic principles for the foundation of edge computing in our standard body. So we would like to produce an open standard, allowing multiple implementation and ensuring interoperability. Uh, as I said before, Mac is exploiting Etsy and NFV framework and definitions. So we would like to enable Mac in NFV deployments. And we are uh, aligning with the 3GPP based on fruitful collaboration of common members companies uh, in order to enable Mac in 5G. But of course, uh, if you remember the acronym MAC, multi-access edge computing, uh, this is, can remind you uh, the, the, the access agnostic nature of our standard because we want to enable also other accesses, not only 5G, but also Wi-Fi, fixed network and so on. And MAC is addressing the needs of a wide ecosystem. So enabling multiple vertical uh, segments of the market uh, like, for example, automotive and also federations. And let me also emphasize, for example, we have a fruitful collaboration with 5G Automotive Association. 5G AEA recently joined the Mac membership, and this can even help a more fruitful collaboration with this organization from automotive domain. So the essence of Mac. Uh, if you look at this definition, Mac offers to application developers and content providers cloud computing capabilities and an IT service environment at the edge of the network. Uh, maybe it's a very compact sentence, but I believe is, uh, is uh, summarizing very well what we are doing. Actually, uh, our focus, our customers, our application developers and content providers, they are going to consume what we produce as a standard, which is actually an enabler for them. So we are enabling cloud computing capabilities and IT service environment where at the edge of the network. So uh, we're not uh, uh, only at the edge of the access network, we are not talking necessarily mobile network, it's at the edge of the network. So, so main deployment options are possible and in order to enable those kind of services at the edge for application developers and content providers. And then this is clear, we are focusing on existential questions for applications on the edge. Eh? So how do I reach my cloud service? What is my QoS, where I am, what uh, is around me? What I, uh, how do I get discovered by my users? How am I connected to the users? How many users I'm serving and where? How to be sure I'm running and when and where needed? and what if my users move. So all those issues related to applications at the edge. And as I mentioned before, we are producing a set of APIs that can be consumed through RESTful based messages in a universally recognized language uh, so that application developers can uh, exploit this additional value from functionalities at the edge of the network. And then we are publishing a set of uh, uh, APIs as requested by the industry, representing few um, uh, key capabilities and, and, and technologies uh, that can be provided in the platform at the edge. But of course, uh, another important value is coming from the possibility for anybody to produce their own APIs and add them to the platform uh, as soon as they uh, mm, uh, produce them and, and design them according to the Mac API principles, I'm mentioning here specification Mac 009 with API principle and guidelines. So really this is a very good uh, added value in my opinion because it is expanding also the business model for other, for, for other third parties and other application pro providers and developers that can produce their own set of APIs as a sort of middleware in addition to the set of APIs that we are standardizing. And they don't need essentially to standardize those APIs. They can be recognized and be part of the, uh, of the platform itself. 
So what we are doing, uh, it's a huge work, it started a lot of years ago. Phase one, we started roughly in 2015, make phase one now really completed a long time ago and with the uh, uh, key uh, pillars and definitions from uh, technical requirements, the framework, the reference architecture, and first the infrastructure as a service and platform as a service, uh, um, work and key studies uh, for the machine and V and mobility, uh, and then moving to phase two, we evolved uh, with some studies uh, on mobility, lawful interception, uh, and also started to address the key industry segments, for example, on automotive and V2X API, for example, we started to work on IoT API and uh, network slicing and container support. We uh, introduced used the normative work for the integration with NFV, and of course, we started to expand from the mobile domain to the multi-access domain. So um, studying as well uh, and publishing APIs for the Wi-Fi and fixed access, and also um, clarifying about the integration of Mac and 5G networks and working on the publication of the open API representation uh, of our specifications through the Etsy Forge website. I will tell you about that. Uh, soon, and then working also on testing and compliance. This is also an important work that we are continuing as well in phase three, as well as the continuation of other APIs that we are uh, publishing and adding new APIs. And we are expanding phase three as well to a heterogeneous cloud, studying Mac Federation, which is a special topic for today, studying also other aspects on constrained devices, consumer-owned cloud resources, studying different uh, other kind of deployments like in park enterprises, and also continuing the work on API serialization, adding work on the implementation of a Mac sandbox, and this is a great uh, news, uh, maybe for the application developers as well. And uh, uh, of course, this is our ongoing work in phase three. Eh? And uh, I would like to emphasize, I would like to emphasize that this is a, also an architectural work uh, of the standard on edge computing, not disconnected by other um, bodies. Uh, we are working in alignment with 3GPP, and uh, uh, I'm projecting here in this slide uh, uh, a mech harmonized architecture with the SAE 6 edge uh, up in 3GPP. This was a work published in a white paper more than one year ago, showing essentially uh, a sort of synergized architecture um, where essentially you can see similar duties or different building blocks uh, starting uh, coming from different bodies in 3GPP and Etsy Mac. So this is a great sign from the industry, a white paper written by um, jointly by um, Etsy Mac uh, officials and uh, 3GPP officials. And now also we have uh, um, this kind of uh, uh, further alignment as a follow-up of that work uh, in the scope of the uh, release 18, uh, say six uh, uh, study item EHAP. Uh, and this is also, also an ongoing work that we are continuing uh, together with them in alignment uh, also to avoid duplication work and to help uh, the adoption of the edge computing uh, ecosystem. What is doing Mac is also part of uh, a wider uh, set of uh, uh, capabilities in the in the in the domain of uh, network automation standards, and this is not covered only by Mac. It's uh, uh, ZSM and Etsy, which is uh, covering the overall approach for network automation, and also uh, the part from NFV and OSM is managing telco clouds, and Mac actually is focused on managing edge. Uh, telco clouds. Uh, and this is also in co cooperation and coordination with these other groups. Uh, I believe this is uh, one, un one other topic very important for the future and evolution of Mac, also for the future networks, uh, well, uh, where Mac will play as well a role. And here I just mentioned a few examples of uh, specifications that may have an impact when it comes to uh, network automation. Now, 
the focus on Mac Federation, which is one of the hot topics uh, for the Mac in phase uh, three. As I said, we are expanding the scope to Mac Federation, essentially starting from industry requirements. I'm mentioning here a past white paper from GSMA showing a collaboration with the, between different stakeholders and operators owning edge computing infrastructure and connecting to the, each other in a federated model uh, where um, everybody can offer and consume edge service and capabilities in order to uh, provide a, um, a service continuity across their customer base. Uh, and this is a collaborative model, a very, very complex model, but also fruitful for the industry. And uh, this kind of uh, work in GSMA was the driver uh, that uh, motivated also the creation, uh, the, the study initially, and also the creation of a standard to, to, to realize this kind of Mac Federation. So Etsy Mac published the very first work on Mac Federation, actually. It was published in June this year. Uh, this Mac 35, multi-access edge computing study on inter-Mac system, Mac cloud system coordination. And where essentially we are starting with the definition of a Mac Federation which is a federated model of Mac systems enabling shared usage of Mac services and applications. And this is a starting point for us. And also let me explain a little bit where we are starting from. Initially also in phase one and two, um, we were supporting in Etsy Mac, inter-Mac host, intra-Mac system management. So the communication within a system between different hosts and platforms, but also uh, always within the same Mac system. Now we are expanding, of course, uh, to inter-Mac and Mac to cloud systems. And this is the main scope of this Mac 35 study that I mentioned before, where essentially we have different edge computing infrastructures, possibly managed by different orchestrators, and also why not uh, communication between different systems as well, uh, also possibly with external clouds. And this is a wider set of uh, communication means and possibilities that expands also the footprint to many possibilities in collaboration with diverse set of stakeholders. So after this study, now we are in the phase of uh, um, uh, doing the job. So the normative work is now actually ongoing in alignment with the GSMA OPG requirements, of course, and there are some new specifications, some architectural updates. Uh, I will tell you maybe next time with some nice uh, uh, news uh, and updates from Etsy Mac. But essentially, let's understand what is the motivation, and then which are the use cases mainly for this kind of uh, inter-Mac system and Mac to cloud coordination. So one, uh, one use case is uh, coming from the automotive domain. So uh, you can see here Mac Federation scenario of V2X, uh, vehicular to everything services. And uh, essentially you can appreciate that, uh, well, in the real world, in a smart city environment, you cannot have uh, only one single operator. You cannot pretend to have a single car maker, a car OEM. You cannot imagine that there will be only one Mac vendor. So actually we have a different and heterogeneous system uh, encompassing different operators, uh, different Mac vendors and suppliers and car OEMs and then also applications. And then the operability, interoperability is needed in this kind of heterogeneous scenario in all those three dimensions. So you can see easily that Mac is a tool for this kind of interoperability. And another use case, for example, is coming from uh, yeah, admitted reality gaming, where essentially, uh, again, we can have different kinds of platforms and different customers um, associated with a subscription to a certain operator one or two. And they want, of course, to be part of a game, a gaming room and, game to, uh, and play together. So uh, to offer 
the, the needed service and quality of service and connection, you need a connection between the two operators and the two systems. And uh, also to provide uh, really uh, the, the quality of experience needed for this kind of uh, gaming across different client applications belonging to different operator domains. So what we are doing is to start from this uh, requirement, for example, from GSMA or PG, as I mentioned before. And here in this figure, you can see the work that they have done to do a sort of mapping with our Etsy Mac framework and architecture. And then you can see that there is a dialogue uh, between uh, uh, Etsy Mac and GSMA, which is now also listed as a Mac participant and can submit contribution to Etsy Mac for discussion and decision, not only for information, and also dually, uh, we have established it from Etsy Mac side to uh, nominated observers to represent the SG in GSMA OPG. So we are practically, practically put in place uh, a collaboration with the GSMA to ensure that yeah, uh, yeah, the work that we are doing in the, in the domain of Mac Federation is really useful also for this kind of uh, uh, huge uh, ecosystem of stakeholders represented by this uh, OPG uh, group. And then, of course, uh, not to forget that we are aligning also with the other standard body, 3GPP, as I mentioned before, in the domain of edge computing standardization to create a, a consistent standard to avoid the duplication of work. This is also very important for us. And let me also um, provide, as I promised at the beginning of this uh, presentation, an overview of our activities for the ecosystem engagement of the application developers. So we have a, a lot of uh, activities uh, which, which are very heterogeneous like, and, and cover different domains. Uh, let me let me um, uh, mention a few uh, news about all those activities. So we are, of course, starting from the um, uh, awareness that what we produce as a standard should be also consumed practically by developers. And then uh, for each and every API that we are publishing, we are also uh, publishing a machine readable open API representation in the Etsy Forge website. So that this is uh, truly understandable also by developers and how uh, it's a very uh, straightforward for them to, to see how they can use these APIs for their application development. And this is also a, a big effort that we are doing continuously. So uh, it's a very important activity. And now we have also a new special task force for the open API implementation accepted by the Etsy board. So we, we are planning to start this uh, co um, uh, uh, new phase of the work in November this year. And, and this is of course a very important and to provide continuity to uh, our work in the normative uh, specifications and uh, because we would like really to provide a rich set of APIs also in this kind of uh, open API representation. And also let me mention that we are doing testing and conformance uh, starting from the testing framework from tech Mac technologies. We have developed the API conformant testing uh, for several implementations. Uh, so test suite, uh, test implementations in robot framework and TTC and tree language openly available and released under BSD3 license. So a huge work as well, very important. The, and now we have a new work item testing and interoperability recently approved. And this is very important. Uh, also, we are um, uh, encouraging uh, the, 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 the development of uh, early solutions through POX, uh, but also Mac deployment trials in a live environment with operators, for example. And uh, of course, we are listing uh, uh, um, a set of uh, Mac ecosystem implementations based on uh, uh, our standard or portion of the standards. So, and there are continuously uh, uh, new uh, submissions for, for new uh, Mac deployment trials recently added to the website and also new implementations added and listed in this Mac ecosystem wiki page. I suggest you and recommend if you are interested and curious to have a look to these websites. And last but not the least, 
I can mention as well the Mac Sandbox. Uh, really, this is a great uh, effort again. It's a simulator of a real 4G, 5G network as seen via the Mac APIs, uh, including uh, 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi wi access points, and uh, with the steady and moving UE uh, devices, an API console integrated with Swagger UI and more, and real Mac apps that can interact with the sandbox and can register services. So it's a complex and very complete uh, uh, simulation environment that can be also a useful tool for the application developers so that they can consume also these APIs with their um, prototypal implementation of their Mac applications. And also, again, if you are curious and would like to see more, uh, you can see that there are some great news and new features and APIs implemented recently. You go also uh, in this kind of website, try macetsyorg It's very simple. And, uh, um, and this is a, 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 a free uh, uh, opportunity for you to try and test the Mac through this Mac sandbox. I really encourage you to have a look to this website. If you have an, a GitHub account or an Etsy account, you can there, go there, sign in and freely access to Mac infrastructure and consume APIs and try out and, and, and simulate in this kind of simulation environment and enjoy how it is very easy to use uh, the Mac uh, APIs and standards. So um, let me now provide you a, a live demonstration of this Mac sandbox uh, through a nice Hello, uh, my name is Bob Kazda with InterDigital, and I'm going to give a short tour of the Etsy Mac sandbox. You can find the Mac sandbox at trymac.etsy.org. The sandbox emulates a set of edge network topologies in Monaco. A user is able to configure a set of terminal devices operating within the city. Also, I'm able to pause or control the terminal mobi terminal's mobility. The Mech Sandbox offers a range of Etsy Mech services, location, radio network, and wireless LAN access information. These services can be, can be accessed either directly in a browser via a Swagger UI, such as this, or directly from the user's Mac application in their Edge environment via a custom URL. An API console provides, it, uh, provides the user with information about what data is being exchanged with the Mac services. Please check it out. And then, we have also collaboration with open source communities like uh, Acreino. And uh, we have a, an API portal where, uh, where is listed the, uh, a set of uh, projects and the uh, Acreino in, uh, under LF Edge um, that are uh, related to uh, standard specifications in Etsy Mac. And there is a growing number of APIs and standard specification which are um, listed in this uh, portal uh, because we have a continuous collaboration with Acraino and open source communities are really also uh, referencing to this uh, standard. Um, and then we have also other events like uh, plug tests. So starting from the experience of the testing and conformance, uh, we are also encouraging stakeholders to try interoperability between their products, uh, Mac platforms, Mac applications from different vendors. The uh, plug tests are uh, historically coming from NFV, NFV only events, and, and from a couple of editions uh, also, uh, we organized jointly NFV and Mac uh, plug test uh, events. And uh, as a news also, we have uh, uh, in, uh, uh, the, the, the 2021 edition of the plug test uh, event, uh, including Mac as well, with a growing number of uh, stakeholders uh, participating to this interoperability event. And last but not the least, let me mention as well, is a great event to attract uh, application developers. I can mention the Mac hackathons. 
essentially these are uh, events where uh, developers are requested to uh, to take part to a competition develop an application uh, giving a sort of technical challenge um, and we are also uh, assigning a prize uh, and, uh, nominating the, the, the winner of this competition and there are a lot of events in the past that you organized since 2018, 19, 2020 as well and I can mention also the 2021 edition on 12 of October this year uh, co-located with the Edge Computing World event uh, and this is a, a very uh, um, uh, new um, edition of the of the Mac hackathon but there will be also soon uh, also some new uh, initiative in that perspective and with that I concluded my presentation so thank you so much for the attention thank you bye bye <laughs>